in Sydney, uh, Sydney, Australia, picking up a bike, just riding through Concord, Liberty Grove here. <laughs> There's so many back alleys here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how people live in Sydney. Seriously, yes. I mean, cycling is definitely the fastest way to get around. I couldn't imagine being stuck in traffic. It's like, fire, oh, man. Once you live in Adelaide, it's like hard to live anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> if you know, you know. Anyway, I'm going to put out this bike. I'm going to get the bush turkeys. Look at these bush turkeys. That's cool. That's an Australian, Australian bush turkey. Damn. That's pretty rad. This is the advert here I saw on Facebook the other day. It's a 58 centimeter Cat 7. 450 advertised and it does come with a bonus set of spare wheels which I definitely like. So we just picked up the DLC CAD 7 9 speed Ultegra and it's got serum SLs on it in very very good condition. This bike is uh, yeah it's gonna be ridden nicely and thanks Jessica for the negotiations. It's now 2000, it's 2004 model uh, so $380 Australian including some uh, old school Mavics. Look at this these old school of these, the French made ceramics. Love it. People look at that and they probably think it's trash. But these are actually really, really nice wheels. Uh, even that tire be okay for the rear. They're just, yeah, bearings are still good. And the rear as well, another Mavic in the back. Cannondale Facebook Marketplace deals. That's also a CAD 7. And now we have matching ones. Amazing. Now the challenge is, <laughs> I'm not gonna get both these bikes with <laughs> all these wheels back to uh, back to inner west sydney back to uh ashfield there that's gonna be the challenge chuck it in the back all right so we're rolling we've got the candle over the shoulder got the ultra flies on and we've got the back is the wheels now i could just jump on the train and do it but i'd rather train than train makes sense there we go so we're gonna do it sydney traffic it's a bit tight to ride two bikes at once so we're gonna have to uh I have a bike over the shoulder and uh, three wheels on the backpack. Can you see that? There you go. If you can't, you must. Okay, we made it back, back to Cannondale land. And uh, yeah, that felt really good. That felt like a really, really good workout. I feel so much better now. Like you always feel good after a session, don't you? Don't have your breathing and balancing the bike and navigating on new streets is good. It's not about the... Uh, end result it's often about the journey boom another cat 7 to the uh, fleet love these bikes absolutely amazing 380 dollars in my land gives you a nice near new cannondale 380 dollars in car land gives you a fake smile from a dodgy mechanic for what they're going to do for 380 on a car you know 380 bucks got the whole bike and the wheels and the seat and seat posts etc is in here beautiful and it even comes let's check this out my favorite tires still in great still fine they've got like little cosmetic cracks in there but that's still fine oh, that's not that's just rubber my favorite tires gp gp 4000 s grand prix continental made in germany it's a deutschland oh man this bike ride is great and it's gonna give it a good deep clean not that it needs it not that it needs it but we'll do it anyway just because these bikes are so easy to work on and uh yeah, beautiful color love that color so 58 it's 58 centimeter so yeah nice beautiful great to have this bike on the road i will we'll change the bars out put some fsa compacts not a fan of these bars but uh i'll change the saddle out otherwise and pedals i was ready to roll so that's the deal uh the deal again thanks jessica for negotiations uh, it is, you know, always great to, uh, everyone's happy. People will only sell something that they can afford to sell it at, and people will only buy something they can afford to buy it at. So, so again, it's so the art of negotiation. And uh, so again, thanks Jessica for being part of that. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is a great, well, great place to uh, get some amazing bicycles. Uh, I'm not sure why people are buying brand new bikes these days. <laughs> I mean, think of the brand latest Cannondale. Like, if someone offered me that, I mean, I won't, not mention any brand names but I do get offers from a lot of big brands who want to pay me an allowance and say Hayley you know ride this bike I'm like hey I appreciate it but uh, maybe offer that to vegan cycle or someone because I'm not going to push I'm not going to promote that product you know it's just not what I'm about and that's no shade to vegan cycle that's all the YouTubers out there everyone's just selling out to these uh, 
these big brands who are just shilling this dodgy product. In my opinion, it's dodgy, okay? In my opinion, it's do- like think of a Canada today in the bike shop in 20 years time. <laughs> Getting spare parts for that, zero chance, most likely. The, the DR2s are going to be dead, the Hydro, it's just, they're just, you know, the new bikes, in my opinion, are rubbish. And look at this beautiful bike we just got here. It's 20 years old, still rides killer. I'll just change out the bars, put my pedals on there, put my seat on there, boom, that's a, a Div 1 ready race bike. You know, if you know, you know. Beautiful bike, easy to service. These are the bikes that really grew cycling. And the modern day bikes now, that you see in the Tour de France today, they're decreasing cycling because they're so heavy, they're cumbersome to ride, to travel with, they're pain in the ass. Spare parts, stupidly expensive, working on them, working on them, work, just drama. And if you crash them, they're so fragile. The frames are so thin. Little crashes, boom, top tube bit. And you know, again, with carbon, you can take it to the repair shop and spend $1,000 you know, and get it repaired. Yes, yes, you can. But this, the extra faff, for zero performance benefit, you know, <laughs> I would rather have that bike I bought today, literally, for 380 bucks than the latest bling of the bling, Cannondale or whatever, you know, or Specialized, or Trek. I'd rather have their bike equivalent from 20 years ago than what they're selling today. That says something. And if you know, you know. But I'm the only influencer out there with my level of reach who's really, that I'm aware of, who's really saying it how it is. And that's unfortunate. Everyone's selling out for the cash from the big brands, bending over, gaping their cheeks for Signard & Co. Daddy Signard & Co. And that's disappointing, man. That, in my opinion, is making people away from cycling because it's getting so cost prohibitive. And even someone like me who can afford I can afford any bike. I can get any bike I want, either for free or I can just go in there, buy it, drop cash on it, get it, whatever I want. But that, you know, take away that aspect, I don't want to, those bikes are just crap to work on. They don't ride as good, you know? They don't ride as good. I mean, if you if you want to ride gravel, then yeah, obviously, you know? But it's a road bike, okay? Road bikes for road, dirt bikes for dirt bikes. Okay, boomer.